Hello everybody and welcome back to No Aero. Today we are starting our lecture series on aircraft radio communication and navigation which is ATA 23 and 34. The purpose of this series is to share the vast and interesting knowledge of various aircraft radio instruments and to make you all understand their concepts easily. So we will start with the radio communication. First of all, we will learn about the fundamentals of waves and their types. Then we will learn about the electromagnetic waves, their properties such as polarization, some basic terminologies and lastly, I will conclude this lecture with the radio frequency spectrum and modulation. I would also recommend you all to consider a published book on radio while going through this lecture series. Some of the reference books are provided in the description. So let us get started. What do you understand by waves? A wave is defined as a disturbance which moves through a medium. Disturbance can either be sound, light or say radio waves whereas a medium can be air, water or even vacuum. Waves can be considered progressive or stationary. Besides, there are two different categories of waves, periodic and aperiodic waves. The difference between them is that periodic waves consist of cycles or patterns that are produced over and over again by the source. The most commonly studied are mechanical waves and electromagnetic waves. In a mechanical wave, stress and strain fields oscillate about a mechanical equilibrium. They are of two types. Transverse wave. It is a wave in which the oscillations are perpendicular to the direction of wave motion and longitudinal waves. It is a wave in which particles of a medium oscillate in a direction parallel to the wave motion. Well, in an electromagnetic wave, there is a coupling between electric and magnetic fields which sustain the propagation of waves involving these fields according to Maxwell's equation. As an electromagnetic wave consists of both electric and magnetic field vibrating at right angles. It is necessary to adopt a convention to determine the polarization of the signal. Now this topic is important as an interview point of view, so do not skip this. Polarization indicates the plane in which it is vibrating and for this purpose the plane of electric field is used. Vertical and horizontal polarization are the most straightforward form of polarization. When the transmission of wave is made from a vertical aerial, that is, Electrical component travels in the vertical plane and magnetic component travels in the horizontal plane. This is called vertical polarization. Horizontal polarization is vice versa. Electrical component in horizontal plane and magnetic component in vertical plane. An electromagnetic wave can travel through vacuum or some dielectric mediums. Both the mechanical and electromagnetic waves can transfer energy, momentum and information. But they do not transfer particle in any medium. The electrical field results from the force of voltage and the magnetic field results from the flow of current. So before we move forward, now we should learn some basic terminologies related to the characteristics which describes the wave. Number 1. Crest. It is the highest part of the wave. Trough. It is the lowest part of the wave. Amplitude. Amplitude is the half the distance measured vertically from crest to trough. Wavelength. A wavelength or one cycle is the distance from the crest of one wave to the crest of next or between two similar points on adjacent waves. A frequency is defined as the number of times the wave cycle repeats in a given unit of time. It is measured in hertz. And lastly, the wave period. Wave period is the measure of time. It takes for the wave cycle to complete. It is measured in seconds. Now the relationship between them is by the formula frequency is equal to c upon lambda where c is the speed of light which is 3 into 10 to the power 8 meter per second and lambda represents the wavelength. Frequency is also related to time period by the formula frequency is equal to 1 upon time period. So now we shall move on to electromagnetic spectrum. An electromagnetic radiation is classified by wavelength into radio, microwave, infrared, visible, ultraviolet, x-rays and gamma rays. We will focus on the radio waves. 
रेडियो वेव्स आर द टाइप ऑफ इलेक्ट्रोमैग्नेटिक रेडिएशन विद द लॉन्गेस्ट वेवलेंथ इलेक्ट्रोमैग्नेटिक वेव व्हिच आर डिफरेंट फॉर्म ऑफ एनर्जी वी यूज इन आवर एवरीडे लाइफ इन एविएशन अ वैरायटी ऑफ रेडियो वेव्स आर यूज्ड फॉर कम्युनिकेशन द रेडियो फ्रीक्वेंसी स्पेक्ट्रम एंड इट्स बैंड्स आर एज़ फॉलोस स्टार्टिंग फ्रॉम वेरी लो फ्रीक्वेंसी फॉलोड बाय लो फ्रीक्वेंसी मीडियम फ्रीक्वेंसी हाई वेरी हाई अल्ट्रा हाई सुपर हाई एंड एक्सट्रीमली हाई फ्रीक्वेंसी it is very easy to learn just memorize the band name then it's only 330 and 300 with kilohertz megahertz and gigahertz now we shall discuss the concept of modulation a plain radio wave is of no use as it cannot be heard nor it can convey any information therefore modulation is the process of converting data into radio waves by adding information on an electronic or optical carrier wave there are two types of modulation amplitude modulation is a modulation technique in which the amplitude or say the signal strength of the carrier wave is varied in proportion to that of the message signal and frequency modulation is the encoding of information in a carrier wave by changing the instantaneous frequency of the wave there is a third type known as phase modulation it is similar to frequency modulation except for the fact that frequency is unchanged while the phase is changed relative to the base carrier frequency so this would be all for this lecture which was just the basic understanding of waves and introduction to radio we will discuss the propagation of radio waves and different classification of waves in the next lecture so thank you all for watching i hope that you enjoyed watching and i expect that you will follow up this lecture series on aircraft communication and navigation subscribe to our youtube channel to stay tuned for regular upcoming videos hit the like button and do comment in the comment section if you have